related story, a more recent related story. I believe this story is from 2008, though it could be from 2009. Um, the patriarch, the present patriarch of the Ethiopian Church, Ethiopian Orthodox Church, Patriarch Paulos, he denies this ARC news. In Addis Ababa, June 30th, according to Rutters, Rutters, the head of Ethiopia's Orthodox Church on Tuesday, he denied reports that he is about to unveil to the world the Ark of the Covenant that Moses is said to have stored the Ten Commandment tablets in. Patriarch Abuna Paulos said Italian media had incorrectly incorrectly reported that he would place the Ark in a museum in the country's north. Obviously Tigray, because he's, he's Abai Tigray. Anyway, legend has it that the box-shaped Ark has been hidden from sight in Ethiopia since 642 BC, according to them. A quote, I am deeply disappointed that the Italian media misquoted me and disseminated false information about me unveiling the Ark of the Covenant to the world, end quote. He said at a news conference, quote, it is a fabrication disinformation, end quote. Some Ethiopians believe that Prince Menelik I, who is said to be the result of a union between Israel's King Solomon and the Ethiopian Queen of Sheba, took the Ark from Jerusalem to Ethiopia while he was in power around 950 BC. So this is the most recent Ark news and Ark information that's out there. I don't know if a lot of y'all have gotten to hear this particular story where some are saying, or Italian media is saying that Patriarch uh, Paulos, who visited recently, he visited uh, Benedict you understand and this he was interviewed and he made these statements allegedly but now he seems to be denying these statements quote I would like to confirm once again that the Ark of the Covenant and the sacred tablets containing the Ten Commandments that God delivered to Moses are in Ethiopia Abuna added Paulos added Replicas of the Ark are in more than 50,000 Orthodox churches in the Horn of Africa, in the Horn of African country. The church says, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church says it keeps the Ark in a holy shrine in the north of the country. Only a small number of priests can even go near the room where it is said to be kept. TBN, and now this is also interesting, the most recent ARC news, TBN host claims that Israel or Israeli Jezreeli commandos actually took the ARC. Did you hear about this? Do you know about this? That TBN, the Trinity Broadcasting Network, claims that Jezreeli or Israeli commandos took the ARC. Uh, Grant Jeffrey, host of TBN's Bible Prophecy, he claims that after the Ethiopian Civil War, um, Israeli or Israel sent a group of commandos, allegedly from the tribe of Levi, and carried the Ark onto a plane and back to Israel or Jezreel in 1991. Allegedly, the full story is at World Net Daily. And this story was reported June 29th, 2009. So this article actually is this year. Um, so Ethiopia, the Ethiopian church speaks out on the Ark of the Covenant. And there's a statement that the Ten Commandments box will not be displayed. But at the same time, there's another news story which allegedly claims that in 1991, Israeli commandos took from the tribe of Levi, allegedly, went into Ethiopia, got the ark, and took the ark back on the plane to Israel. There was considerable confusion last week when the leader of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church apparently told an Italian news agency of an upcoming announcement about the possible public display of the Ark of the Covenant, the box holding the Ten Commandments, and then the prescribed time passed with no word. 
However, there was no equivocation today in an email received by WND, World Net Daily, from the webmaster of a church website in response to an inquiry about the truth of the matter. Quote, it is not going to happen, so the world has to live with curiosity, end quote, said the statement. Sign only webmaster in response to the WND inquiry. The webmaster statement described the tempest as being caused either because of a translation mistake or, quote, a slip of the tongue of the patriarch, end quote. WND reported first when the apparent revelation was to be announced and then again later when the scheduled time came and went without a word. Ark hunters and Bible enthusiasts has been buzzing, have been buzzing for days on the report from the Italian news agency and uh, Kronos that Patriarch Abuna Paolos visiting in Italy last week for a meeting with Pope Benedict the sixth was quoted quote soon the world will be able to admire the Ark of the Covenant described in the Bible as a container of the tablets of the law that God delivered to Moses and the center of searches and studies for centuries end quote get Ark Hunter Richard Rives, amazing probe into biblical history. There's uh, some book out there that they was also bumping at the same news site um, where it says Time is the Ally of Deceit, a uh, complete book and DVD collection. He apparently had suggested the possibility the artifact might be viewable in a planned museum, this particular Richard Rives. So there may be some sort of overlapping and confusion about this but I think it's something that needs to be shared and known and any more research please um, share it with I and I on this particular matter quote I repeat the Ark of the Covenant is in Ethiopia nobody knows for how much time only God knows he said in and the Kronos report available online the report said uh, Paulos reported the artifact quote is described perfectly in the Bible, end quote, and is in good condition. Quote, the statement of conversation is good because it is not made from man's hand, but is something that God has made, Paulos said, according to the report. The agency had reported an announcement would be made at the hotel Al Drovandi in Rome and the hotel spokesman told WND Paulos has been in residence there but no news conference or event was scheduled quote the Ark of the Covenant is in Ethiopia for many centuries said Paulos in the report as a patriarch I have seen it with my own eyes and only few highly qualified persons could do the same until now End quote. Bob Cornuk, biblical investigator, international explorer, and best selling author, has participated in more than 27 expeditions around the world searching for lost locations described in the Bible. A man, some considered a real life Indiana Jones, he has written a book entitled A Relic Quest about the Ark of the Covenant and participated in History Channel production called Digging for the Truth. Cornuk will travel to Ethiopia soon for the 13th time since he began his search for the Ark. He told WND he believes it is possible Ethiopia could have the real artifact. Quote, they either have the Ark of the Covenant or they have a replica that they have believed to be the Ark of the Covenant for 2,000 years, end quote, he said. Cornuk said if it is genuine, there's a plausible explanation of how the ark may have come to the church of our lady mary of zion in ethiopia quote the ark could have been taken out of the temple during the time of the atrocities of manasseh he said we have kind of breadcrumb trail that appears to go to egypt and it stayed on an island there for a couple hundred years called elephantine island the ark then was transferred over to Lake Tana in Ethiopia, where it stayed on Tana Kirkos Island for 800 years. Then it was taken to Aksum, 
where it is enshrined in a temple today where they don't let anybody see it, end quote. Cornuk said he traveled to Tanakh Urkos Island and lived with monks who remain there even today. Quote, they unlocked this big four-inch thick wood door, he said. It opened up to a treasure room, and they showed me meat forks and bowls and things that they say are from Solomon's temple. When the History Channel did this show, they said it was one of the largest viewed shows. People are fascinated, end quote. He said Ethiopians consider the Ark to be the ultimate holy object, and the church guards the suspected artifact from the, quote, eyes and pollution of man, end quote. In Ethiopia, their whole country is centered around worshiping this object, Cornuk said. Could they have the actual Ark? I think they could make a case that they actually could.